AMD to bundle Starfield with Ryzen 7000 CPU series. MSI has unveiled their GeForce RTX 4090 Aero as with blower fan design and also available in China only right now. Nvidia is working on their updated 12v2x6 power connector that would replace the 12v HDPWR connection. A new AMD Phoenix 2, a smaller Zen 4 RDNA 3 APU has been pictured. This is Tech Track. So firstly, we have Newegg just released this and basically AMD Starfield Game Bundle Promotion Store. And as you can see, if you buy any of these 7000 series of AMD processors here, you will be bundled with the Starfield that is coming from Bethesda Studios. So yeah, you would like to, if you're interested in Starfield, of course, that game looks pretty nice, not gonna lie. And so if you want to play that game and also willing to buy a 7000 series of processors at the same time, of course, then this might be a good deal for you, you know? Because look, these are good, very good deal right now going on. There's been some saves and some promo codes that have been available for some of the processors and also some of the processors getting price cut, which is also nice. Plus free shipping, so that is another thing to look out for. So yeah, if you're interested, that is a deal that Newegg is offering. Next up, we have a GPU here, as you can see, that is a blower style model. And as you can see, it's from MSI. Basically, their MSI RTX 4090 Aero as only available for China right now. And I don't know why only blower style GPUs are available for only China. Why can't they just make it for the world? But either way, this is for China only. And as you can see, it looks similar to the other blower styles that you would find. And as I said before, I've asked this question previously, that is blower style design are good for RTX 4090? 90. I don't know, maybe they are, maybe they're not, but usually you can't really tell unless you test it out. And as you can see that the back of the board is it's again very exposed i wonder why but i guess for better cooling i guess that works because you know as, a, as i said blower style don't really have better cooling so that might get the passive cooling uh, not really passive cooling just you know from the environment so that is a that might help and again this is leaked by the shinna chaos but right now that tweet has been completely removed and li rightfully so they don't want to get into trouble but uh, video cards captured it already so there it is that's the box that was open so yeah it's interesting gp we're looking at we'll see if this gpu comes to the whole world of course please come on msi you can do that next up we have a big news from igor's lab here and they're saying that rest in peace 12 vhpwr connector which means that it has been replaced or will be replaced by another connector called 12v2x6 connector and i wonder what that connection is so let's look into it so if you look closely the 12v hpwr connection basically is from the uh, cm 5.0 which was for the 12v hpwr but now they're using the 12v2x6 which comes from the new specification from the cem 5.1 and in this case the power delivery we're looking at is 675 watts as you can see exactly why is it 675 watts but not 600 watts previously mentioned that is because it this 12 v2x 6 connection will provide you 600 watts plus that 75 watts coming from the pcie connection but beforehand for the cm 5.0 specification it was combined which basically means it was 75 watts from pcie connection and 525 watts coming from the only 12 vhpwr connection so that would mean you'll be getting more power delivery which is 675 watts that means it will be allocating 600 watts in according to the cm 5.1 which is kind of good because it won't be uh, it won't be dependent to the pci connection rather it has its own 600 watts delivery which is i think that might solve a lot of issues as you can see this is the old 12v hpwr header with h plus identifier but now they have included new identifier which is H++ identifier as you can see this is the new identifier they're adding and we might not know how it works but we'll see how it works when we get to see the whole thing unfold and as you can see the new dual v2 x6 pro connector will be providing you 55 ampere of continuous current and that would mean that it is getting the maximum of 600 watts alone from the connector not from combined of that as i mentioned the pcie connection so this is independently providing 600 watts on a 12 volt aux rail and as you can see this is the old 12 vhpwr header we're looking at but now we have a better looking one which is as you can see well not better looking a better performing one because it will also stabilizes the power delivery not only that it also has the safety features enabled which is much more enhanced 
I wonder if why didn't they do this beforehand before even releasing it. That kind of tells you that they didn't choose to, you know, test stress test or something like that before, you know, releasing this product because now they go, they're going for something completely new uh, in terms of headers. What we what we're looking at is the 12 volt 12 V2X6 header. And we also have some new power classes for 150 and 300, 300 watts. As you can see for the sense one and sense zero if those both of them are open and the maximum power after software configuration will be zero watts and if you if they're shorted they will then you'll be getting 150 watts available from connector and if the sense one is open and sense zero is grounded 300 watts sense one ground sense zero open for 50 watts and both of them grounded would mean 600 watts that's the maximum 600 watts they will be getting from this connector alone so it will be quite interesting to see how this connector will solve the issue which is as you can tell already this connector has caused a lot of havoc or i should say this connector because that's the old one this is the new one we're looking at and i wonder how that will help if even if that will help or not because we already know cable mod did something previously to uh you know help this condition i don't know if that really worked or not but maybe that did work also msi have tried their you know this uh, that yolo looking color that tells you that if it's connected properly or not but you know what this is the problem here that if they're considering going for a new header new design of this connector that would mean that there was some engineering problems for the previous one and that explains that they're going for the, this particular one which might be the solution hopefully it is because that caused a lot of havoc a lot of burning melting connectors hopefully that won't happen again next time in the forum in billy billy we got this and that's the first appearance for the phoenix 2 apu and in the first one we're looking at the phoenix one right here as you can tell this is the phoenix one apu and in the right side we're looking at the phoenix 2 apu the phoenix one basically is 8 core 16 thread plus 12 cu of amd rdna 3 uh process uh, gpu there or igpu i should say and well in the right side we're looking at the six core 12 threads four cu uh, cu of amd phoenix 2 and the rdna 3 gpu igpu we're looking at so this is the shorter I, I, you can already tell this uh, the area right here is much shorter than this one or i should say it takes less space so yeah it kind of makes sense that it would be the phoenix 2 because it's a much more smaller variant compared to the phoenix 1 so yeah this is probably the phoenix 2 we're looking at and well for cus i wonder if that would cut as a good apu for gaming we'll see about that but for now yep we're looking at a two-third of the cutting of the phoenix 1 and that's the phoenix 2